Hey guys, it's Virginia. Today I wanted to talk to you about another tool, Pickaxe, and what it does is it creates AI tools for your business. There's a part of this where you can create it, put the tools into what they call studios, where you can sell or gate the tools and sell them to other people, or you can just use them in your business. So it just depends on what you want to do. But I'll show you this. So when you look at this um, tool, you can create them with, again, no code. You can train the tool. You can design it how you want to. You monetize it. And you can see how people have interacted with it. And here's some examples of some templates that they've got that you can do. Um, and you can embed them anywhere. Um, for our use case, obviously, I'm a mortgage broker. And we're going to look at the mortgage broking use case. So I asked ChatGPT. Um, I did build some already, uh, but the ones I built, um, one was um, a calculator that finds rates online and then um, gives people the ability to just paste the Earl of wherever they find a rate in, but that doesn't really help people because people that aren't already brokers don't really know where the rates are. So I had, um, I asked ChatGPT what's... Um, some good examples that we could use. So I'm just going to use the ones that they came up with for mortgage brokers for pickaxe. So for mortgage affordability calculator, we want to build that. So what does it do? It calculates the maximum mortgage month the client can afford based on their income, expenses, interest rates, and loan term. It provides a detailed breakdown of monthly payments, including principal. Anyway, so you can know what a mortgage affordability calculator does. So what we'll do is we'll go to pickaxe we'll sign in and then you've got a choice of three types of pickaxes you can create the automatic ai builder is the one that i will use in a minute before i do that i just wanted to show you something um digress i'll digress and show you something um for example um I've, this is one of the other things i want to know how to build that's why i'm showing it to you um, usually when you do uh, chats or build, you build a chat bottle, you can only have one input. Um, with this, it's more like almost a form at the start where you've got multiple inputs. Like um, you see this a lot in the HR business where there's a HR generator. And so what you do is your company is hiding, is hiring a software engineer and, and you can change that bit for the following job description. And then you just write a job description and you're applying for this job. Um, which is a bit ridiculous, um, let's just say um, an engineer, engineer, chief engineer or something, chief um, DevOps engineer. All right, let's do that. Okay, and then you test the prompt. And so then you can see the variables then create the letter. So normally you would just have one input in a normal chat but this gives you a couple of different things see as a cheap devops engineer these are the little things i can do um, and so what you can do is you can customize this so that it creates based on what you want the and you know chat gpt or else i think i have quad as well um what you want it to be anyway so we won't worry about this for now we will go back to the create okay so chat is another one it's obviously a chat and then let's go to the automatic builder okay so this is the automatic builder this is the one that we just asked chat gpt for what we should do so what does this tool do we just i'm just going to copy this okay where is it it is here i build pack pickaxes i just have three questions are you ready to get started yes I'll just say, I should have said yes, but I said why? Great. Okay, so what type of tool do you want to build? Because that's the first question. Okay, that was supposed to be the question. I didn't exactly get the question right, but this will do. Next question will be something like who does it sell? Okay, 
What will people do with the tool? That was the second question. Not exactly the right answer, but anyway. These are the same questions that they ask you every time with the AO Builder. Um, what's your unique take on it? I do get that question right at least. Okay. Okay. Now this tells you um, what the prompt is now going to be for the tool. So you read this and make sure you agree with it because you can chat back and forth with it. So I'm going to say you're intelligent, user-friendly, mortgage calculation tool designed to help potential home buyers and mortgage brokers. Your purpose is to calculate um, the mortgage amount. And then there's rules and the approach to calculating. Do you like how this prompt looks? Let's just say yes. Okay, it's now generating the tool. I love creating tools like this where I don't have to code anything. Okay, go to your new pickaxe. There's the tool. Okay, so, all right. So you can do an intro message here saying, um, Before I do that, let me just test it first. So, don't be shy, it's not a conversation. So we'll probably say something like, um, would you like to know, would you like to know about mortgage repayments? Okay. Just say yes. See what they say. So it's asking for this information. I'm going to change that. I did a typo. So it's asking for the annual income, let's say 300k. It's not really true. Monthly expenses, uh, 4k. Um, interest rates. 5%, loan term, 30 years, okay, so that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, let's try that. Okay, next step. Okay, you gotta create, shuffle the image. You can check, you can upload an image cover here or just do that. And just shuffle these through, that'll do. Then we wanna change this little thing here. We just change that, change that. And then you can do it private, unlisted or public and clonable. Okay, and then the other thing which I don't know where it is. But there was an advanced option, here we go. You can train it, prompt injection. So there's further advanced options you've got on this, as well as, oh, I wanna make it 0.4. Okay, next step. Chatbot. And then I always put in my API key so it uses my credits, not um, the pickaxe credits. Okay, so I've saved my API key in there. 
and then I've left it private though I could, I could set it public and then deploy it and then you can either just share the link add it to a studio that's where you they that's a website where you can add other ones or you can embed it uh, sorry add other pick, pickaxes uh, selection and you can also gate it with um, uh, to charge people if they want to go in it or you can embed it into notion or your website or you can just share the link okay so I might just copy the link and show you the link and then we've created a calculator so it will ask you and you can do that so anyway that's it uh, if you want to know more tips like this then uh, subscribe to my channel and I will keep showing them thanks guys